Hey and welcome! In this video, I will repaste and also perform several upgrades to this ThinkPad X230 I bought recently. This is actually going to be a whole series of videos where I will build a perfect X230. In the next video, for example, I will retrofit a classic 7 row keyboard from an X220 into this machine, because this is the most modern ThinkPad of the X series that allows a classic ThinkPad keyboard to be used, with some modifications. I will also replace the TN panel with an IPS one in another video. But for now, let's begin with the first part. The X230 is meant to replace my current, you can say, traveling laptop, a ThinkPad X200S, which fitted my needs with its lightweight design even compared to modern laptops or the X230. But it begins to struggle when it comes to performance due to its very old Core to Duo. If you want to see how the X200S performs in comparison to the X230, stay tuned until the end of this video. But first, let's get started with stripping the whole laptop in order to replace the thermal paste and the fan. We'll begin by removing the old Western Digital Black hard drive, as well as the single 4GB stick of RAM. They will be later replaced by a SSD and 8GB of RAM. I will also replace the mobile broadband card on the way. Now the complete disassembly can begin. Because I'm lazy, I haven't removed the display assembly. This way, it is a little tricky to dis- and reconnect the power connector located underneath the mainboard. careful when cleaning the CPU and GPU die. In my case, there's quite a lot of thermal paste that has to be removed. I used thermal paste for the CPU and a very thin thermal pad for the GPU. From now on, it's just a matter of putting everything back together. Also do not forget to reconnect the fan, otherwise you will have to disassemble everything again.
that everything is reassembled and reconnected, it's time for a first test. But what's that? After a few seconds of fear, the ThinkPad luckily decides to turn on. Of course, we must do a short comparison between my old X200S and the newer X230. The slower X200 feels quite snappy with Linux installed, but lacks hardware acceleration of more modern video codecs, which leads to high CPU loads when watching YouTube or doing some video conferences, for example. While the subjective speed difference when it comes to opening programs like Chrome, for example, is not that huge, the modern benchmark Cinebench R20 shows very drastically that the X230 is a huge step forward when it comes to multitask performance. The X230 finishes the tests of course much much earlier, the X200S on the other hand took nearly one hour to complete the test and scores only 144 points, which is to be expected of course. All in all, the sturdy 8 year old sub $100 ThinkPad X230 can compete with much more modern laptops. Based on benchmark results, the i5 processor used in this machine is 3% faster than the 6th generation i5 used in my daily driver the ThinkPad Yoga 260. But not only that, it can also compete with current mid-range laptops like for example the 2019 variant of the i5 MacBook Air. So I think you get the idea why this may be the perfect option for those who want a sturdy and capable but at the same time very cheap machine for daily usage. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video where this ThinkPad gets a classic keyboard installed.